Hello, and welcome to McObject's database presentation, R-Tree Indexes for Mapping and Geospatial Software. This segment is part of a longer webinar explaining how data indexes, including some that are specialized, can enhance the performance and reduce memory, CPU, and storage demands of embedded database applications. In this longer webinar, indexes discussed include t-trees, hash tables, patricia trees, r-trees, and more. And without further delay, I will turn this presentation over to McObject CEO, Steve Graves. All right, moving on to the r-tree index now. So b-tree indexes are single dimensional and they can't efficiently deal with multidimensional data defined in R2 or R3 coordinates inherent in spatial searches. On the slide, we've listed some common examples of multidimensional data. The R-tree index, which is sometimes called the Gutmann's R-tree for its originator, provides a way to index multidimensional data. There are many applications and services that need efficient algorithms to perform spatial searches. For example, locating the nearest object to a current location, and finding all objects in the user's vicinity. The R-tree algorithm does the job well by mapping objects in space using a bounding box or a minimum bounding rectangle, which is abbreviated MBR, uh, or we also call it a wrapping rectangle. If an object is represented by a, a point, with coordinates x and y, then the wrapping rectangle is a degenerated rectangle in which the width and height are zero, because a point has no width or height. For all other geographical objects, lines, polygons, and arbitrary shapes, the wrapping rectangle is such that the coordinates of the top left corner are smaller than or equal to the coordinates of any point of the object, and the coordinates of the bottom right corner are greater than or equal to the coordinates of any point of the object. In other words, a wrapping rectangle is the smallest rectangle that fully contains the specified object. Each node in the index bounds its children. Like the nodes of other index types we've discussed, a node can have many objects in it. The leaves of the tree point to the actual objects. The height is always log n, and the tree is height balanced. And again, as with other tree indexes, the R-tree nodes usually correspond to database or file system pages. So here's a picture of an R-tree. Let's take a moment and examine it. The input for a search is a rectangle, or uh, sometimes called a query box. Searching is quite similar to searching in a B-tree. The search starts from the root node of the tree. Every internal node contains a set of rectangles and pores and pointers to child nodes. And every leaf node contains the rectangles of special objects, or at least a pointer to a special object. For every rectangle in a node, it has to be decided if it overlaps the search rectangle or not. If yes, the corresponding child node has to be searched also. Searching is done like this in a recursive manner until all overlapping nodes have been traversed. When a leaf node is reached, the bounding boxes, or the rectangles containing, contained within it, are tested against the search rectangle, and the objects are put into the result set if they lie within the search rectangle. To insert an object, the tree is traversed recursively from the root node. All rectangles in the current internal node are examined. The constraint of least coverage is employed to insert an object. In other words, the box that needs the least enlargement to enclose the new object is selected. In the case where there is more than one rectangle that meets this criteria, the one with the smallest area is chosen. Inserting continues recursively in the chosen node. Once a leaf node is reached, a straightforward insertion is made if the leaf is not full. If a leaf node is full, it has to be split before the insertion is made. A few splitting algorithms have been proposed for good R-tree performance, but that's more detailed than we have time to go into in this presentation. The interface of an R-tree usually provides the following search methods. All objects that belong to the specified area, or more formally, 
whether the object's minimum bounding rectangle overlaps with the specified rectangle. The object is part of the specified area, whether the object's minimum bounding rectangle is wholly contained within the specified rectangle. And get all objects belonging to the specified area. In other words, get all objects whose minimum bounding rectangles overlap with the specified rectangle. These operations can be used to implement more sophisticated requests. For example, to locate the nearest neighbor to an object, or to get all objects whose distance from the current location is less than a specified value. Thank you, Steve. And thank you to viewers for tuning in to our presentation on R-Tree indexes. If this was useful, you will enjoy our longer webinar titled Boost Performance and Minimize Footprint with Specialized Data Indexes. This longer presentation covers B-trees, T-trees, hash tables, Patricia trees, and more. And it is available on the Objects website for free at the URL shown below www.mcobject.com slash YouTube. Again, that's www.mcobject.com slash YouTube.